Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and John Lackey has gone down with an injury. He will be out for two to three weeks, so we are going to call up Ruby Delarosa, someone who was called up recently for the Red Sox in real life, a player that I have a couple thoughts on. But we're also going to be DFAing Grady Sizemore and calling up Jackie Bradley Jr. as we get closer towards uh, September roster expansion and having to get our playoff roster set and all that stuff. I think. In a playoff setting, Jackie Bradley Jr. is going to be better for us off the bench than Grady Sizemore, just for the sole purpose of being a defensive replacement. Neither are going to, neither would have been, you know, starters at any point throughout the rest of the season. But Bradley is just going to do a little bit more off the bench for us, I think, than Sizemore would have done. And so it was an easy decision to DFA Grady Sizemore. So the Grady Sizemore era in Boston is over. So take a look at today's lineup going up against the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, pretty standard lineup based on the last couple episodes, although the top is a little bit different. We are letting Jackie Bradley get a start today in center field for Shane Victorino. So Nava's going to lead off, and Xander Bogarts will be in the two-hole today. So up is the number three hitter, Dustin Medoria, and he's going to take this one into right center field for a base hit. Misplayed by Colby Rasmussen, center Pedroia rounding second. He's going to head for third, and he is in there safely with a two-out triple, and that'll bring up David Ortiz, the big Red Sox slugger, and the pitch from Marcus Stroman is hit into deep left center field. That one is back, and it is gone. A two-run home run for David Ortiz. And he puts the Red Sox up 2-0 on the top of the first. Marcus Stroman is the pitcher for the Tampa Bay Blue Jays today. He is one of their top prospects, and he was an all-star this season in this franchise. He's had a fantastic year. ERA under 3, and I believe he's got 13 wins at this point. So he's been really good for the Jays, but could not do anything there. A bad pitch. He left that one up in the zone, and Ortiz takes it out. So it's 2-0 Red Sox early on. Kadir celebrating with his teammates right there. And we're going to advance to the bottom of the first inning. Here's to take a look at the Blue Jays lineup. You can see David Wright on the team. It's a trade I showed you guys earlier in the, in the series. Uh, he was traded for a host of prospects. Lowry moves to second base, filling a hole that the Blue Jays have. And Ruby De La Rosa on the map for the Red Sox today. One of their top pitching prospects. A guy that saw time out of the bullpen last season um, towards the end of the year. I don't think he ever made a start for them. But he made his first start as a member of the Red Sox a couple weeks ago. And has made two cents then including one last night. He's been off and on. He has phenomenal stuff, including a dominant changeup, great slider, and a couple fastballs that really work effectively for him. But uh, the problem with him is he's got to put it together consistently. Uh, he has great stuff, but he has trouble repeating his windup and his motion and just you know has to put it together consistently. He has good innings. He has bad innings. You've seen in the couple of starts that he struggled with in uh, recent in recent days, um, he'll have one bad inning, then put together two or three really good innings, then maybe have another bad inning. So it's just about consistency for him, and I think that's something that he's going to have to develop at the Major League level. But with John Lackey out for two to three weeks, it's a good opportunity to get him his Major League debut. Now, this is two starts in. He's looked very good in his first two starts, but he's struggling here in the bottom of the first after a run's already in. Man on second. It's actually bottom of the second now. Colby Rasmus up. That one's lined into right, but that's going to be caught by Michael Kadire. Throw will go into third, but the runner will hold up. So now runner on second with two outs. Next batter is Eric Kratz, the catcher for the Blue Jays today. And Kratz is going to ground this one to the third baseman. That is Middlebrooks will fire on to first in time. And De La Rosa is out of the inning. So it's 2-1 to one. Red Sox here. Bottom of the third. 0-2 counts Edwin Encarnacion. And there's a 98-mile-an-hour heater. De La Rosa has a live arm, can throw upper 90s with his fastball, and can be absolutely dominant with that pitch. It looks like Encarnacion might have just missed that one, but either way, it's a strikeout on one of the best hitters in baseball. So top of the fourth, Ortiz up for his second plate appearance of the ball game, and he's going to hit this one back to the left side of the infield. Sort of finds a hole there. Nice play by Jose Reyes, but he cannot get the out at first, so Ortiz makes it on base. Now next batter is Michael Kadire, and he's going to find a hole himself, so a couple seeing eye singles here for the Boston Red Sox, and we've got two on with a chance to try and put some more runs on the board on Marcus Stroman. So next batter is Mike Napoli. And he's going to get jammed here, pop the, or fly this one out into shallow right field. Second baseman is there, and that is going to make the second out of the inning. Next batter is A.J. Przinski, the 1-1 count. And Przinski is going to line this one into center field, falling fast. Rasmus is there. Colby Rasmus with a diving catch that likely saves a run. A beautiful play by the former St. Louis Cardinal and soon-to-be free agent Colby Rasmus. Flashing the leather right there, and he keeps the score 2-1. to one. Red Sox still on top. So, we're going to skip ahead here a little bit in just a moment. Bottom of the fourth, 0-2 counts to David Wright, De La Rosa on the mound. And De La Rosa's windup in this game is really not, uh, does not look like what he, how he throws it in real life, so I might change that just for my own sake. 
But we move ahead here into the bottom of the fifth inning. First batter is Brett Lowry, the starting second baseman for the Toronto Blue Jays. And he's going to hit this one into right field for a base hit played by Michael Kadire. He'll fire it into second, but it's a leadoff base runner for the Toronto Blue Jays. Next batter is going to be Colby Rasmus, a 3-0 count. And this is what I'm talking about. Delarosa sometimes struggles with his location, and he could not find the zone there. Four-pitch walk to Rasmus. So next batter is Eric Kratz, 2-2 count. Kratz is going to hit this one softly. Bogarts cannot get a glove on it. It goes in the left field for a base hit. Runner coming around the throw home. Not in time. And the run comes home and scores, and the Blue Jays tie it up at two. Now, Jose Reyes up 3-2 count. Hits this one sharply to short to second for one. On to first, and a big 6-4-3 double play right there in the speedy Jose Reyes. And now with two outs, next batter is Melky Cabrera, the 2-2 count. And Cabrera grounds it to second. Pedroia to first in time, and De La Rosa gets out of the inning. So we're on to the bottom of the sixth now. 0-2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. He's going to hit this one. Nice play by Bogarts to get in the hole. Fires to first. An impressive defensive play by Xander Bogarts right there. Getting that one in the hole and then making an impressive throw. Now 1-2 count to Jose Bautista. He is no match for De La Rosa's plus-plus slider. And that is a beautiful pitch for a strikeout. Now 3-2 count to Adam Lind. And Lind goes down to the changeup. That was left over in the middle, but Lind was looking fastball. And he missed time that one. So another strikeout for De La Rosa. He's gone 6 innings. got 5 Ks, 5 hits, 2 earned runs and a walk so far. And you can see it's a tie ball game. 2-2 two two is the score. Now top of the seventh, Strom, but still in. First pitch to AJ Pruszynski. And that one is crushed. Deep left center field. And she is gone. A solo home run for AJ Pruszynski. And he puts the Red Sox back on top. 3-2. to two. A big shot to a similar spot where Ortiz hit his home earlier in the game. And that is a uh, weapon that the Red Sox have utilized so far. A pair of home runs have put them on top. Now 3-2 to two is the score. That one just gets over the 375 sign. So Matt Belial, Belial I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that name. We'll come in now for the Toronto Blue Jays. And if you guys follow my road to the show, you know he's a player I've had success off on the past, or in the past, I've hit a couple home runs off of him with Saul Goodman. But Jackie Bradley Jr. will ground out to second. That's actually his third ground out of the afternoon, or of the evening, I should say. So bottom of the seventh now, David right up. He goes down, right? Not a player that strikes out a lot, so that's an impressive throw rate, or an impressive at-bat, or pitch, whatever you want to... I don't know. It was an impressive little uh, sequence by Ruby De La Rosa. Now next batter is Brett Lowry. Lowry takes the first two changeups for strikes. Now the 0-2 pitch, another off-speed pitch. This one's a slider, and Lowry goes down looking three straight pitches taken over the plate. Now next batter, or two batters later, it's Eric Kratz up. He grounds this one slowly in front of the mound. That will be fielded by Brzezinski. Fires to first in time, and that's going to do it for De La Rosa. He gives us seven strong innings of two-run ball, of two-run ball. Struck out, I believe, eight. So very impressive out of Ruby De La Rosa. Not his first major league start. Not his first start for the Red Sox, but the first time I've used him. And I had uh, good vibes coming off of him after this start. So anyway, Badenoff comes in for the eighth. He gets through it unscathed. So now we're into the top of the ninth. Still a 3-2 game. Matt Belial up. And A.J. Pruszynski up again. And this time he takes it to right field. That one back. And that one is gone. A.J. Pruszynski with his second solo homer of the game. This one extending the lead. Now 4-2 to is the score. And Pruszynski does it again. Two straight at bats. This one coming off of Matt Belial. And like I said, I've uh, had success off of Belial in the past, and I hit another home run off of him this time with AJ Pruszynski, and he puts the Red Sox, or he extends the Red Sox lead now to 42, giving their closer Koji Uehara some extra cushion. Not that he needs it, being one of the best in the game, but Pruszynski takes him yard, and now Koji Uehara will come onto the game or come on into the game. He has, you can see Uehara not at the best season, uh, 5 4 70 RA, but still an effective closer. He has regressed a little bit just due to the stupid player regression in MLB. But that one is sitting in deep right center field. But Jackie Bradley tracks it down on the run. Impressive catch right there from the rookie center fielder. Now David Wright up. Wright's going to ground this one to first. Napoli will touch it himself. Two away. Next batter is going to be Brett Lowry. The first pitch of the A-B. And that is going to be hit sharply to third. Fielded by Middlebrooks on to first. And it's a four-pitch save for Koji Uehara. And he gives the Red Sox the 4-2 win. So an impressive start from Ruby De La Rosa. Like I said, he gives us seven innings of two-run ball. Very excited with what I saw out of him. Not sure if he will stay on the Major League team when John Lackey gets back. But moving forward, especially going into 2015, I would like to have a lot of my young arms in the rotation next year. Maybe even guys like Henry Owens and certainly uh, Ruby De La Rosa and even Alan Webster. And I want to get a lot of those guys up at the Major League level next season. So De La Rosa making his case. Obviously, he'll have to make his case in spring training next season, but he'll get to that when he gets there. Still looking good. His ERA is still under like two and a half so far in his three starts. So 
really um, encouraging signs of De La Rosa, and the team came up with some big hits when we needed it today. So big win, and you saw in the standings earlier, uh, we are in a tight division battle with the Toronto Blue Jays, so this game meant a lot for the standings. So that's a big win for the Sox, and that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. hope you did enjoy, and so it's Peace.